okay so in this project uh, I'm gonna do a couple of bug fixing today because as we add new features and new functions we have to do bug fixing time to time and one of my pair weavers have pointed out some bugs so I'm gonna go through them before adding any further functions so first one is this so I have I have set as the default weapon I have say, given the player character this uh, sniper rifle M82 so if I go here instead of pick up E2 sniper rifle I should get a swap message because if I pick up you can see this is what happens and yeah we need to fix that here now get press C to swap flamethrower okay so right so the reason that I am not getting a swap message when I go near the sniper rifle is first let me open the sniper and if I go to the BP gun swap, where do I get that message here so here we get this message if I already have a weapon from the same category as the weapon that we are going to pick up uh, and this function get weapon from category is implemented in the CH soldier like this so this is the uh, this is the soldier character base character <clears throat> and here you can see this uh, map which holds the holds references to guns based on the gun category I can't have values here by default so yeah and I haven't initialized that for the character that's the reason uh, so what I should do is now actually I have initialized but when I change the weapon for the player character because here we have a AK-47 but for the player we have a, yeah I have given this image too so that's the reason so what I should do is here I'm adding this BP rifle and revolver these I have added these guns into the map but I have here hard coated as the primary weapon and the secondary weapon but here for the player mannequin I have changed the rifle child actor class to M82 so this is a special type a special category weapon so what I should do is let me isolate this part I should have taken the category of this gun okay. category I have already set up required blueprint interfaces for that to do that so instead of hard coding it I can assign the correct category then I can convert this to a macro in it gun let's call it and for this part also I can reuse it to initialize the revolver as well I can use the same macro alright uh, now I should get if I go near this I should get press E to swap right now we get the correct it works properly now see press C to swap a sniper with flamethrower because both the sniper and flamethrower 
uh, in this special category this one also special category and this is the secondary category so I can pick up it See? so yeah you can have three types of guns without any issue now okay now if I pick up one of the yeah this when we place it here it's upside down that's something else that we need to fix later right now if I go to the view scope view you can see this gun is visible the reason is when we go into the scope mode and do that yeah in here set radical mode if I go to the aiming mode I hide the character I set the character in true uh, so earlier when I uh, already had the sniper by default um, this the sniper rifle also considered as a part of character but now when I pick up the sniper uh, then it is not considered as a it is uh, then when I set the hidden state of the character it's not applied to that newly attached uh, character attached gun actor so that's why I was able to see the gun mesh through the scope so instead of just simply setting the hidden to true I think it would be better if we define an interface function on the character I Oh, we should call it toggle height character because I'm going to use the same function with the false input to make it visible again. It Now in soldier, see as soldier, I should be able to implement that. Double height character. Let me implement it like this. First, set at the hidden with this parameter and then we have references to all the guns inside these guns guns get no values this will return the actor object references of the guns so I run a for each row on this array and each element set hidden I'll call set hidden state on each element using this hidden parameter right now we have to use that function instead of this one toggle hidden oh. toggle hide character called false here Hide character called with the 
through here. All right. Now let's see. It is working. Let's try. now so that's okay okay so that problem is fixed right so after fixing the previous bug i encountered another and that is i don't see the bullet in the bullet camera so the reason is uh, when i enable the bullet camera here Again, I set the character's visibility here, but I should have used that function to hide character because now that I am hiding the gun mesh as well. If I do this, it should be fine. I see the bullet. Now let's see what happens if I switch. Oh. What happened there? It's fine. Okay. Right, so another problem we have is this. When I shoot one of the characters from this side, I get this problem. Now it's correct, but character is turning. See? And after that, the uh, aim and direction is not working properly. See, so the problem is we have implemented uh, this uh, aiming adjustment system. So let me equip the pistol and explain to uh, automatically point towards the direction that we are pointing through the reticle so that's why even i'm aiming over there the gun is pointing uh, pointing uh, to the point where we where we uh, where the middle of the reticle overlaps but if i turn uh, slightly to this side you can see gun it, character rotating to match the point which is the head of this target board so because of that uh, adjustment system when we are in the middle of the um, bullet camera as well that system interferes so while we are in the bullet cam we have to disable that so this is where I adjust the aiming offset so here we need another parameter to check if we are in the bullet camera mode then we should disable this aim adjust 
just in a move set but how to do that so this is where we enable the bullet camera mm. in the player let's go here uh, actually that's not relevant for the uh, base soldier character so here for the player let's add a new variable disable aim, no. aim adjust point enabled get by default this should be true if this is true this part should be executed otherwise not right now we need to set this to false when we are in the bullet camera mode so for that let's see let's add a function toggle aim adjustment we need enable we need a parameter for that and let's implement it here toggle aim adjustment set aim adjustment enabled based on this now here when we set the visibility of the character we can call toggle aim adjustment we can set it to false and when we make it visible again which is here we can set it to true Now let's try shooting from this direction. Right now it works properly. Alright, so with that, um, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So, as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. And thanks, uh, Z Zijan Power Race, for pointing out these bugs so he's the one who pointed out these bugs and so yeah if you or any if any of you notice further bugs please feel free to let me know this is our discord group that we talk about the shooter series all right so see you guys in another episode goodbye